I'm hoping I can hold this down because I ended up just having Premier Protein yesterday and had no problem. So we're going to give it a try. Um, I have a few drops of this bad boy. Just a few, literally. Maybe a teaspoon. Um, I have two tablespoons of ranch. And then I put a little bit of mustard because anyone who knows me knows I don't do hamburger meat without tons of cheese. So this is to make it where I will enjoy it because I'm not doing cheese today. My birthday's this week. Um, it's Saturday, and I will be going out twice this week probably for some hamburgers, so I'll be having cheese then. All right, y'all, we have bought the cats this kid tunnel. The lady in the store who bought it for her kids said it was very tiny, not very big, so I figured it would be perfect for my cats, right? It's two little tents and a little tiny tunnel, and it's for little babies, she said. Very, very small, don't take up much space. What kind of crack is she smoking? Like, uh, what was she smoking? Uh, Y'all, I thought the other one was big. What is this? I can crawl through here. I can crawl through that tunnel, even though my big butts probably get stuck because I've gained so much weight. But let's go back to 158. I could crawl through this tunnel. Look, look. This this is not tiny. This is not tiny. Is this tiny, kids? No. No, it's not tiny. Yes, they act like children. I call them children. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hey, but what are you doing? Uh, not tiny. Not tiny. Like, what? So, 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 so if she thinks this is tiny, makes me wonder about some things in her life. How big they actually really are because this is not tiny. <gasps> Willow, what are you doing? Acrobats? I mean, y'all, am I wrong? Because I did not, I consider this for like a, a four and five year old will be able to fit and play in this just fine. I do not consider this a tiny baby toy that doesn't take up much space. I mean, my porch is 20 feet. This is the back porch. It's 20 feet long, y'all. Uh, that's telling you how long that thing is. That's over 10 feet long. What? All right, Dino is not done with his side. I have a few more pop vinyls coming. Um, I'm 90% done with my side, so I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I've been doing. Okay, so this is my whole new computer desk area. We flipped it around. It used to be at that wall. We flipped it around to this wall. I wanted to be able to see out the window and I needed some more space since he has his like that, which I'm not going to show you his because he's not done. Um, so we flipped mine and originally I had a desk come all the way down here like he did two desks side by side um and i blended it together with the top however the cats wouldn't stay off of it and i really didn't need that space they wanted to look out the window um i really needed more just a storage space and a tiny little area because the desk is too short a tiny area for my oculus so i put my window booth here um for them to sit on they have little Heidi shelves to play and they've been playing in them all day um and now all my tripods are inside this box which makes it perfect they have a space mommy has a space because they were up here on this up here on it and it was a long desk and <laughs> then they were running back and forth back and forth so now they are happy mommy is happy and like I said I really only need a little space for my little oculus here it's really pretty underneath but I wanted it to blend right now to hide the cord for my lighting um, the best I can right now. This is just not completely done. I'm just showing you what we got here. Um, we made these little shelves ourselves. We cut it down, painted it, put brackets on it, stuck it up there because I'm very picky and I couldn't find anything online I wanted. So we just made it for like $24. I got a total of six for $24. Got the bracket a long time ago for my Amazon show that I didn't want in here. It was too tiny. It's actually in the bedroom and I watch it as a TV and it has all my daily stuff on it. So we ended up getting me for my birthday a 24 inch TV. It was like 80 something dollars at Best Buy. It's a fire TV. So it has all my, my shows and stuff so I can use the computer and do multiple things. Basically, I make a coffee in the morning. I get to sit and watch Wendy while editing my videos and doing things here. Um, 
And yeah, I'm behind on everyone else. I'm not going to lie. I don't like missing Wendy and Harry. I just... I used to be that way with tons of other people, um, and then I ended up having to just pick one, and I just relate more towards Wendy and Harry right now, since I only have time for one 90% of the time. It's always going to be their channel first thing in the morning, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because we're Pisces, and we like the same stuff. I mean, I could go the list long of what we like that's the same, so I can never miss their show, so I'm always watching them. Uh, so I, I just made it functional and look, I could have made it look like an adult area, right? Cause I'm supposed to be 45 this, you know, on Saturday, but guess what I've discovered over the years is who gives a beep, 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 right? Who says we cannot have fun, right? Who says we can't have colorful walls? I don't like Hello Kitty, but who says you can't do your whole bedroom in Hello Kitty just cause you're an adult now? No, no, I don't think that's fair to us. Like, all my life, I was always told I had to do my living room certain ways. You know, my brain always said you had to look like an adult. You couldn't have any of the pop, uh, Funko Pops because you're an adult and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I see men get to collect stuff they like. I see them get to do their room looking like a child. Dino's does not look like a child, by the way, because his style is very adult. <laughs> I am not. And guess what? You can tell. Because I've had comments from other people who've seen it so far. It's, oh my gosh, that looks like a kid's area. Yep, I'm a kid. I'm a 45-year-old, very responsible adult who still loves my Harry Potter and Star Wars and Marvel and my Matrix and Legally Blonde and my Scooby-Doo. Like, and my Alice in Wonderland. And, and y'all... And my little rainbow bright. Like, I got these a long time ago. Um, which I'm glad. There's so many I wish I had bought. And now I'll never be able to afford them. Because they sell on eBay for a fortune. This is like 200 and something dollars on eBay now. Um, so my daughter just killed me when I threw the bots away. But, um, I don't buy it to resell it. I buy it because I like it and I want it. Not that I want to make money in the future with it. I, I just, it's me, what I like. That's, that's my whole theory in life now. Whole theory in life. So, yep. This is my little decoration, my little scenery, everything I got going on. I'm trying to see if there was something else. Oh, I'll show you the other area I've had done for a long time, though. Um, This is my other stuff that I like. I collect. They might come out with new ones in years. Um, I forgot the artist's name, but I collect uh, Day of the Dead. Um, Little figurines by a certain artist, which I've forgotten. Um... Poe, of course. Lucy. For, um, I love Lucy and Ricardo right there. Um, these were my grandfather and dad's very old cameras, which isn't ancient, but they're old, the, the younger generation. And I like the looks of them, so they're a decoration that kind of, you know, over the years started deteriorating. Um, I have a lot of steampunk ones. Um, Frankenstein and his bride. My flapper is probably my favorite one of all of them. Um, more steampunk ones. Then my carnival glass that I absolutely, absolutely love. Then I have my little gold section. My monkeys that I love to death. Um, my little elephant. Then I have a little more stuff just down here, collectibles. Yes, this is from kindergarten. My kindergarten, 40 years ago, my Cabbage Patch lunchbox. Um, and I love my little gold draft, but there's he's too long. He can't fit up here. So, and then I have the stuff on the top. I just go with what I like. That's my new theory, y'all. Go with what you like. Who cares if it looks like a child or not? As you can tell, I have a big variety of lights. Kind of total opposite right here. Bright, crazy, kid-like with pinks and tills and all that. And a little more gothic and dark. Because this girl, this girl's everything. I'm everything. I'm country. I can be very, very sophisticated and love white marble and things like that. Now, I'm not the golden diamond girl. Never have been, never will be. And I can be a very... You know, Mickey Mouse girl. I'm, I'm, I'm almost everything. So, you yeah, know. I think this cat's going to trip me. 
All right, I have just gotten out of the shower. It was hair washing night. Um, like I said, Dino had the same thing basically as me, but he had blue cheese all over his burgers instead of a little ranch. Um, he had four slices of pepper jack, and he had the 80-20 burgers, um, about a pound of it, and my burgers are the sirloin, and I only had half a pound of it. The rest are in the fridge. I couldn't eat all four. I'm very proud of myself not eating any cheese. Having it with the ranch and the little hot sauce made it very easy not to have the cheese. So I guess there's substitutes I can do there. I'm having my collagen coffee right now. And I will probably have a Premier Protein um, ice cream later. Um, I'm really liking those right now. And they settle all my stomach. And yes, I did not have to run to the bathroom. So whatever illness I had is gone. Come to find out my dad had the same thing. Um, for about the same amount of days as me, so I don't know, we caught something, because we don't eat the same food, so, I don't know, but it's better now, thank God, because it was miserable. Um, I'm going to do our weigh-in tomorrow, today is the 7th, so we'll have our first week weigh-in tomorrow, um, and I'm really not sure why my weight just hates me right now, but we're just going with it, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, and we're going to see, baby do not fall. So, yeah, yesterday I was on the phone for four and a half hours with T-Mobile because they have a better modem than the ones they gave me, all right? I had to buy two lines for this house alone, and Dino has two lines here because the internet is so crappy. I had to have one just for the Alexas and the lights and all of that to run the house. One for my internet, one for his, and one for his other stuff. Um, because the internet is like a five and ten, right? A few feet away, like a football field away down at mom's house, they got 200. Same internet, same bots. Now, he complained, and they sent him a better modem, right? And he was getting 70 yesterday and upwards. I was like, what? No way. So I got on the phone complaining and saying, I want those modems, right? Because you don't buy them. You just rent them. Um, you just get them and then you turn them back in when you cancel. No, can't do it. You can't replace them because I don't know how he managed to do it. They would not let me. So I had to buy a third line for this house, a third internet line. So I could get the better modem. So once it gets here, then I can cancel the one line and return it, order another line, and return the other one so I can have two good modems. Doesn't that sound stupid and ridiculous and a lot of work? Wouldn't it make more sense, T-Mobile, to literally just let me exchange the piece of crap you gave me for the better one? Right? The other one's got bigger antenna. It's got a battery inside it. It's a Nikia. Dino just handed it to me. So this is the butter. I'm trying not to drop it. It's an older model, but I think it has a bigger antenna. It has a built-in battery pack. The other one doesn't. I mean, battery pack is good because it lasts eight hours. So if the electricity goes off, you know, you can still stream with your tablet or whatever. So you can take good. it around in the yard with you. Um, but it works so much better. We get internet with this one. So I'll be able to, like do so much more y'all the only good thing is even though my bots is crappy it does give me 20 uploads so it's the only reason i can upload in a, like 40 minutes um an hour depending on how long the video is but y'all yeah i swear i want to kill those people i guess i shouldn't say that word i wanted to like scream in them faces by the time the calls were over i was transferred to a billion people let's troubleshoot no that didn't work let's send you here then oh no back over here for troubleshooting and black i'm like y'all you've sent me replacements of these black boxes before it isn't the bots it isn't the location because this can sit next to it and this has great service and the other one doesn't it is the technology of the stupid bots and then they're like well it's on back order because everyone wants that bots Obviously, because it's the better bots. It's the better bots. Mine was supposed to make it here today, but it didn't. But his second one made it here today. And he ordered it at the same time I did last night. So, I will be way more happier. Also, Crybaby is doing amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, last night we woke up this morning and smelled pee, and that's Dino's fault. I've told him a billion times, the baby thinks any cardboard box is a litter box because when they were little 
for months and months and months and months of their life, I use cardboard boxes as a litter box so I could just pick it up and throw the whole thing away because they were little. So I used a special kind of litter that you didn't scoop out. So that is my fault. He thinks cardboard boxes are to go potty. As long as you don't have them around the house, he goes where he's supposed to. And it's just pee, y'all. He knows where to go for the other stuff. Um, so I was able to just throw that box away. He's not peeing on furniture. He doesn't spray anymore. He's he's good little boy. Um, my daughter is doing better um, with her whole face issue she was having. Um, but we go to a rheumatologist uh, Thursday to find out so they can start doing testing because she has some type of autoimmune disease and they think she has rheumatoid arthritis. Um, she's shown positive for tons of different things. So, yeah. And my mom was supposed to go with us because I usually don't go to my daughter's doctor's appointments. One, when she was younger, everywhere had latex. Only the last two years do they not have latex anymore. So I was never able to go to her doctor's appointments. And then lately, I've been having to stay home with my dad. And it's just... My mom, my daughter is just used to my mom going and my mom knows all her medical history because she's always been there for it. And my dad can't be left alone right now because he is doing really bad. So, but my mom has to go with my dad um, Thursday morning to appointment because he might have to have surgery and it will be like an emergency surgery thing they said. Um, so it might be right after that. So I'll be taking my daughter. My daughter's like, it's okay, mom, I'm 16, I got it. I've wrote it all down, so I know what to ask the doctor. I'm like, you go, girl, because mommy don't need to watch. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't in the doctor's office during the thing. I don't know the whole situation. Um, and she prefers to share that stuff with my mom, so I don't really know. Um, and I was wrong, she's not 16, she's 17. About to be 18. 18 in August. Woo, boy. Yeah. She getting old. Um... So yeah, she had a first support group this week online for having autism. The whole class is boys, but she gets along with boys easier. She relates to them more because she's into anime. She's into TV shows. She's into stuff that girls are more into the other things than she is. Um, so she had a blast, actually. She said they're hysterical, and she was really in a good mood afterwards, so that is really great. The sad thing is, the day she turns 18, she can't be in that group no more, and she gets moved to an adult group, and I'm sure people will not be acting the same in the adult group. Um, so yeah, but hopefully she likes the adult group once she gets moved over. And I understand by legal reasons she can't be in a group with people under 18. Which is kind of sucky when you're still in high school for another year though. But I will let y'all go right now. Um, it is already 10 o'clock and I have some things I need to get done. Alright, I thought I'd show you my ice cream. So it's got a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of pumpkin. All it is, is a Premier Protein pumpkin the pumpkin one because I bought tons of them when they were out and they're still on date don't worry and they're not out no more so you can get any flavor you want a half a tablespoon of pumpkin caramel skinny syrup and then I put cinnamon and pumpkin spice in it I freeze it this is a the creamy machine um the reason it is so melted because my butt um got the thing stuck. They're very, I didn't leave it on the counter like you're supposed to and the blade got stuck and I had a little incident. So it's been sitting here for a little while. Now I took a half of a tablespoon of, which they don't have anymore, is the pumpkin um, chocolate chip type things from Chot Zero. So I took um, a quarter of a tablespoon of the pumpkin one and a quarter of the white chocolate because I don't have that much pumpkin left. So it's a total of a half a tablespoon. So it's just a little on the top here. Just blend it in here. Um, and this is going to be basically my dinner. Like part of my dinner because I only ate um, very, very low calorie today with those two burgers. And... I'm feeling like I need to eat something, like I'm I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat it. And I feel guilty, and Dino's having a caramel one. And this will be the last meal 
of the day. I need to learn to eat earlier. I'm just, I was actually afraid to eat earlier. I was hungry all day, but I was scared things would come back out of me and I had tons of errands. So that's why I'm eating so late today. All right, y'all. It is March 8th, so it's weigh-in day of the first week about what is my weight. Um, yeah, I decided to put on some makeup today. Kind of stuck home. I had a lot of plans today, but my dad had to go to the emergency room this morning, and we're waiting for a lot of test results. Um, so, it's one of those days. Not going anywhere right now. Um, he should be fine. He's getting a CT scan. He has, um, infection. They're trying to see if it's gotten in the blood and it's an abscess or something that they can't find. They're thinking like inside his body or something. So that's what happens when you have severe diabetes, really bad diabetes. But of course the doctors told him keto would kill him. Mm-hmm. We all know how I feel about that statement, right? We all know. So, we'll do the weigh-in because you can probably already see it. So, the first I was... Uh, no, I didn't put it on there. I forgot. All right, so 214.8. Today I was 215.2. So, up four points on the scale since the first in a week, but... I was, this week, hit 220 again, okay? I am not eating anything that should do that. Premier Protein, you can see, is not doing that at all because I'm going down every single day um, when I have Premier Protein for dinner. Um, the same with my seasonings. They're not causing it. it it's just my body, y'all. Simply hurt. It is nothing I'm eating. Okay, we have taken 99% of skinny girl syrup away. We have taken 100% of heavy cream away. We've taken, um, for this week so far, I've had no, this week I had no lettuce, no tomatoes. Um, the last time I had that was, I think, the 21st. Whenever I had it, right? Um, I have taken so much away with no no big whoosh on the scalp and no inches changing either. My clothes are just as tight as they were. Willow. The cats are hissing at each other. All right, so I was watching a video that one of y'all sent me. Um... I think it's about mitochondria or something. Anyways, um, I don't know whether or not I have damaged mitochondria or anything like that. I do know for sure I am having hormone imbalance and I have been watching for a while a lot of women doctor who do not do the keto world. So I never tried it, but they all say the one huge thing for people with polycystic ovary syndrome, people going in perimenopause, menopause, all that good stuff, um, needs to not skip breakfast. And we know the last year or so, maybe two years, I don't have breakfast anymore. When I was losing like crazy, I got up and ate breakfast every morning. But y'all, when I get up, I'm so dead exhausted. I don't want to cook. I don't want to do crap. And I can't make bacon, pre-made bacon, and put it in my fridge because I will mindlessly eat it. It will all be gone. I don't care how big that pack was. By the end of the night, there will be no bacon left. All right, y'all? I am addicted to bacon. I am so addicted to bacon when it's already been cooked because most of the time I'm too lazy to cook it. Um, it's pretty simple. I tried every diet in the world, and when I saw you could eat bacon on keto and lose weight, I was sold, y'all. Like... Really? And of course, I didn't believe it. All right. I know my friend had tried it and I really didn't believe it. But hey, why not try it? Because you could eat bacon. Y'all, keto sold me on bacon. That is why I am on a keto journey. Is that bacon? Because I'm in love with it. And every diet I ever had in my life, you can't eat bacon. You can't eat bacon. I went years of my life never eating bacon and just becoming fatter because bacon was poisonous. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was that stupid little Debbie and crap that's poisonous okay not the bacon not the bacon 
and I want to scream. I'm watching all these videos that Dr. Westman is commenting on, and I want to sit there and scream with him. When they say all it does when you go keto is destroy yourself even more, makes your insulin resistance worse. So when you go back, your blood sugar shoot up. My weight shot up, okay? Eating two and a half months of non-keto food, very high carb, y'all. I mean, my whole entire will was high carb. No protein, really, no nothing, just carbs. Um, I ate a lot of plain baked potatoes. So, what happened to me during that time? Well, my A1C was still 5.1, okay? Measuring during that time, it was almost three whole months total, and it was still 5.1. My glucose, even when eating a friggin' donut, never got above 130, ever. It never shot down, it never shot up. It stayed like a normal person. And that 130 is when I had two donuts in a row, okay? That was a, like, they were 80 something a piece because it was their cookie one that they had come out with and they were 80 carbs a piece and I had two in a row and the highest it went up in those two hours because I was testing, I wanted to see what my sugar does, right? Uh, never went over 130 in those two hours and that was for a very short time. Then it just went back to 100. Um, yes, I woke up with higher sugars, like 105. Um, my dawn effect was a back, things like that. My blood sugars never got into the 70s or 60s like they do on keto. Um, so, what I take with that, yes, I gain tons of weight because I have polycystic ovary syndrome and I just cannot process carbs. Um, however, I do not have type 2 diabetes. Now, probably if I was to gain tons and tons of weight and start eating donuts every single day, it would turn into type 2 diabetes again, but it is cured. Okay, if I was to eat responsible and not eat donuts all the time and not eat like 500 carbs a day, it would it would be fine. I can zoom back and forth between carbs and fat. However, however, it doesn't work for me because first of all, all I want to eat with car is carbs. When and I'm always hungry off of keto. Even though I kept my calories down, the carb limit was gigantic. So, we don't do that. We do keto for better health. Better health, better attitude. Um, like I said, my stomach issue is completely fixed. Um, my dad's still sick to his stomach, along with his other issues that he's at the hospital for. Um, so, it was uh, not the medication I am taking. I was really debating, should I tell people this medication that I am taking? I've been taking it for two plus maybe three months, no, two months, I don't know, a little before January or at January, I really lost track, my aim been the third week of January, like I got scared to take it, um, I had started doing research, because the last three years, um, I was always in a bad mood, even if I didn't seem like it, um, everything irritated me, I couldn't feel happiness, and then certain months of the year, I would get really sad and depressed and cry almost every day. And it was really hard to get out of the bed. Um, my anxiety was through the roof the last three years, like insanely. My ADHD seemed to be like, I didn't even know I had ADHD. Um, it just was insane for three years. I couldn't find peace. Like my anxiety was taking over so much, there was no peace. And it was causing more depression. All right, and a lot of my symptoms from polycystic ovary syndrome has been insane for over three years. Even while doing keto, it wasn't making me gain weight, okay? Because this has nothing to do with weight. The medication I am taking right now is such a low dose, it cannot even help me lose weight. Um, so over three years ago, I took myself off some medications. Um, so I started researching because I was like, why did I feel better then? Because I was blaming it on first the lockdown, right? <clears throat> Whole entire year lockdown gave me anxiety, depression that I never discovered in my life. Um, but a little before that, I had gone off some meds, lots of meds. Um, then I suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome and it was like a billion times worse. 
since then. Then, you know, I blamed it on Dina moving here, trying to get used to him and the cats because it just got worse. And I just was irritated all the time by him. All the time. I think I started the mess on January 1st. Okay. So I was really irritated. So I started looking into, I was on three different blood pressure pills. So I started looking into them because some of them are made for depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress syndrome. However, I'm not on, was not on any of those kind because I was allergic to them. So I did research and nope, it wasn't that. And then I asked my doctor to put me back on pills. And right now it is so low, like I said, cannot help with weight loss as you can see that scale is barely moving and no it cannot hinder keto at all not in a tiny bit some of y'all might disagree and say this is horrible you should not take it blah 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 no sorry charlie not true not true for me okay first it doesn't give me the stomach issues and yes i do need to go up another thousand milligrams to get the full benefit that i need for my polycystic ovary syndrome and some other issues um especially since my metabolic rate has seemed to tank it will help on that aspect um it has not dropped my sugars too low it is not doing anything for it <laughs> i've taken multiple blood readings to see if i can get higher ketones and lower blood sugars not affecting it um so come to find out a medication that i was taking for 17 plus years um can also be used off-label. I already knew it was used off-label for polycystic ovary syndrome, but doctors also give it to you off-label, especially if you got polycystic ovary syndrome, for depression and anxiety because it can help with both. And they're discovering it can help with a few other things as well, not to mention dementia. Um, the reason it does something to the vessels or something in your brain that calms down your anxiety, I really don't, I really don't remember the whole entire research page and there was multiple things on it. Um, so I went back on it. I wake up every day happy and all Dino's irritating shit that normally would make me want to punch him and scream, um, doesn't exist anymore. Like it's, it's just like stop being a 12 year old and I can walk away instead of getting furious at him. Um, my emotions are completely calm again. Um, and I was doing keto, very strict keto during those three years, 90% of the time. And I still, it wasn't helping that, like this. I have a peace. My anxiety, like normally I would be freaking out about my dad more. I would be freaking out about my daughter more. I would be freaking out and not being able to control my anxiety. I would throw up. I would run to the bathroom. I would be shaking for days on end. Like my anxiety controlled me so bad y'all this is why I didn't make a lot of videos in the last year or so because it had gotten so bad no anxiety none I can literally leave my daughter out with her friends and be okay with it instead of worrying about all the horrible things that can happen and I know it can all happen because it happened to me um when I was younger but that horrible cloud that was on top of me for so like the last three years and the last two weeks it takes a while for the medication to kick in, kick in to help with the anxiety and depression it is just like okay so it was it never helped with my a1c this medication helps with other people's but never helped with mine my a1c was always still a seven when i'm taking it um but it helps control anxiety depression polycystic ovary syndrome all those things come with it and what is it here's when you are going to scream and no it's not what hurt my stomach because i've been on it for a long time now and uh, my dad has a stomach issue too um it is metformin it is metformin it's completely safe to take it and do keto um so, for a long time, I didn't want to take it. I was scared. I listened to everyone else say, don't take it, don't take it, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 I can't live my life without it. It is, and no, there is no anxiety pills that I'm not allergic to or depression pills. That's why I couldn't take anything. But a side effect of metformin, because it helps regulate your blood sugars and something else that's 
does, I forgot what it's called, you can look it up, um, literally helps control all that. So I can actually function and I can actually sleep. It has helped with my sleep a billion times, y'all, because the anxiety, I don't sit, my brain, I can fall asleep in five, ten minutes of laying down now instead of three, four hours, literally, because my brain would never shut up. It shuts up now. It's just quiet. There's no inner myelog going 24-7 of all the bad things and how things should have been differently. It doesn't exist anymore. And I've lived the last three years with it and wondered why, what happened, what caused it, and then blaming it on the C word lockdown part. Um, but no, it's because I always had it and the medication I was taking was controlling it because I remember how bad I was before going on metformin, but I never put two and two together. I just thought it was because, um, life had changed, my circumstances had changed, and then all of a sudden it got bad again, and now I know why. So, don't come at me if you don't like metformin, that is fine. And no, it's not helping me lose weight, as you can see, at all. Um, it's supposed to. It's supposed to be able to help you lose weight. Normally, when you go on it, you lose about 30 pounds. However, I do keto, so it doesn't really affect me. My blood sugars are already low. My, you know, I have no carbs in my body. So, taking it isn't going to give me a big weight loss like it does a lot of people. I'm not doing anything like that. That's okay, because I'm not taking it for that. It would have been nice. would have been nice. Don't get me wrong if it helped. But it's not. Um, but it's helping everything else. Like, so much goes wrong, and I can completely be calm. What shark, shark? So, and as the days go on, I feel more and more better, and then can do makeup and stuff. I was looking at old videos from, like, three years ago. Christmas 2020. I really liked what I looked like, and then that. Um, early in 2021, I loved my hair. So I am seriously, seriously debating on getting it cut again. Not yet, but maybe this summer we will see. Because all I do is wear in a ponytail. Don't get me wrong, I love wearing ponytails. However, I miss all my cute little styles I did. This is too much hair, to be honest. I used to love, love my hair. It used to go down to my butt. Um, and I would fix it up and stuff. But it wasn't active. Okay, I didn't have cats. I didn't clean my house. I didn't I didn't do anything but play video games and fix my hair and makeup. Like literally. It didn't get in the way. This this gets in the way, y'all. So much. And it's heavy. It's heavy. Heavy. Also, it helps with migraines, by the way. Um I get these slight little migraines and then they just go away. So and that it if you go look up what else it can do, like, what else, like, does it work for anxiety, depressions, migraines, it all shows up in the list, um, it's just called off-label because it's never been, like, researched or approved for that, I guess, um, but most off-label drugs work better than the labeled ones, right, the ones that are approved for it. But I'm going to go shut up and maybe make some bacon. I'm having my first collagen coffee. I'm having a whole scoop and a whole um, tablespoon of butter in it and the whole scoop of collagen. So that's what the whole scoop is. So it's like 200 calories because I was trying to turn that into my breakfast, but that's still not enough calories and protein for breakfast. I think that's only 10 protein. So let me see if I can get my lazy butt in the kitchen to at least make bacon in my air fryer. All right, so I woke up at 1040, had my coffee. It's 136. I'm having breakfast. I tried to have it earlier, but you know me. I'm slow at cooking it. So I'm starving. We're going to eat. And I have three full eggs, and I don't know how many slices of bacon. So it is like 3 o'clock. My dad went in really early this morning to the emergency room. They've done a CAT scan. They're waiting for it to come back. Um, they're checking him for sepsis. He has all the signs of it. Um, they're also talking about having to do emergency surgery. Um, so we don't know what's going on. They're at the hospital and they don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. By the time y'all see this, I would know what's going on. And then it might be in this video. But y'all, like me and my mom was just talking. Our life has never had happiness or joy. It has been nothing but one sickness after another with the family. Um, first it was my grandfather, then my mom, 
and this is as me as a kid, than my mom having horrible, deadly allergic reactions, being raced to the hospital over and over again um, all my life. Then my daughter has had illnesses since she was born, seizures, you name it. Um, and then my dad now. Well, my grandmother came and it was horrible for three years. Then my dad. And it's like we've never really had a vacation. The only time I had vacations when I went to Hawaii. That's the first vacations of my whole entire life because my life has always been bobbed around, not being able to do with anything because of everyone's illnesses. Um, and it's just getting worse because they're older and his diabetes are out of control. And yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I would love to be able to get on a plane and go to KetoCon, get to meet Wendy and Harry and a bunch of other people just for a weekend of escape from reality, right? <laughs> just a weekend or even a day. It's my birthday this week and now when I can be able to celebrate my birthday, which I understand because this happens every year usually, um, everyone's sick in February and March, but... I see other people who don't have to have all the illnesses in their family um, to get to live normal lives. I can't even go get a job if I wanted to because I have to be here constantly. My daughter can't be left alone with her autism. Um, someone has to always be with her. Trust me, she seems normal, I know, in these videos. But it's not that she's not normal. It's just she can't rationalize and think like other people. Like She just... When a bad situation happens or something that's not even bad, it becomes bad for her. Um, it's just how she was born. It's not her fault. Um, but someone always has to be with her. And my parents, is, they always have a doctor's appointment. So, so it's just, yeah. Yeah. I'm not depressed right now. I'm worried about my dad. Um, but way less than I normally would be. Normally, the anxiety would have me on the floor in tears. Um... So, I'm just going to get the mail, put their cat food that got delivered into their house, and check on my daughter because um, my mom just told me that she's, she hasn't been feeling well again and that they're not sure the thing cleared up or not. No one tells me stuff, I swear. So, she's staying down at my mom's house. She has a big, giant room there, so that's where she stays most of the time. So, I'm going to go check on her and put some stuff away and just try to be out here in the weather it's 60 degrees and nice and sunny and just try to breathe right just breathe i was forgetting to record an ending so dad has to have surgery tomorrow they have to remove a lot of his flesh and hopefully that works and he doesn't have to go in for another surgery um which is a possibility possibility I'm trying not to cry. I'm exhausted. I just got home. I'm going to have the frozen Premier Protein. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. It's a long drive. Mom came home. I took her back. And then I brought the vehicle home with me. And then he possibly can be in there a week or more. And my mom's got to stay with him. So I'll be taking her back and forth when she wants to come home. Um, and Haley's got her appointment tomorrow. So it's going to be a very busy weekend and no birthday not gonna have a birthday weekend. I'll celebrate later when everyone's well. So this is probably the end of my video. Oh, and I ate the whole pack of the low sodium bacon, which was about 16 slices. Just gonna say that. And let me tell you about that scale. I just got on it and I weigh less now than I did this morning when I woke up. I've had two full scoops of collagen coffees. Those coffees are 32 ounces each. I've had at least 32 ounces of water or more. I had all those eggs, a whole pack of bacon, and I weigh less than I did this morning when I woke up. So yeah, you would think I would weigh more because I ate all that food, right? Nope, less. <laughs>